What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Prolific Reptiles. Today's video guys, I'm going to be handling some of my most aggressive snake, Gamora. Uh, you guys can actually see she has a bunch of stuck shed there. So I need to go ahead and take her out and give her a soak. That should be fun. And I'm also going to be handling my boy Phantom over here. Now you guys can see he has like a little hide in there that he doesn't use anymore. He doesn't fit in it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. I'm gonna go ahead and add some rep chip in here and kind of make his enclosure look a little bit more nicer. Yeah, guys, these two snakes don't really like to be handled at all. So it should be fun. I, I, I guess I'll go ahead and give you guys some tips on how to handle, you know, some sketchy snakes. Let's get straight to it. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I removed the manzanita wood that was in here. You guys can see this guy's already in feed mode. He thinks I'm going to be feeding it. You got to go ahead and take the snake out of that mode, you know, get it thinking. But before I even try to handle it, I'm going to go ahead and take out some things that I have in here to avoid the snake getting tangled up and making it harder for me to take her out or take him out. He is already very cage defensive. Uh, usually when I bring him out, you know, he calms down a little bit. But lately, he's still been on his little striking mode. Even when I take him out, he's been striking at everything, going crazy. So let's see how he's behaving today. Let me just go ahead and start removing a bunch of this, a bunch of this crap. And uh, yeah, I guess let's start doing it. So you guys see she's coming out. Sometimes people that don't really know much about uh, retakes, they just go ahead and stick their hands in there. Now this guy is clearly in feeding mode. You guys see those fast tongue flicks. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and give it a little tap. It's probably gonna go back like crazy, but just to let her know we're not gonna be feeding. All right, okay, now he's retreating. So now he knows we're not feeding. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all this stuff. There he is, guys, right there. He's in a little strike position. I'm going to go ahead and take him out. Go ahead and bring him out. This is the thing I actually wanted to remove first because, well, he doesn't use it and it's just there. So let's go ahead and take that out. Use it for someone else. Now, look at him, guys. This guy's very defensive. So uh, I got to watch out for my arm. This guy can strike out pretty far distance. So uh, look at him, look at him, look at him. This guy is pissed. Let me take this hide out. <laughs> Hey, you ain't got to strike at that high, man. What's wrong with you? Beautiful, super dwarf, reticulated python. Now, you guys can see, now that he's out, he's not really trying to strike at me anymore. He's just trying to get away from me. But uh, look at this beautiful snake, guys. I don't want to get a strike to the head, to the face, I mean. Yeah, he's chill. He's kind of chill once he's out. But, you know, I don't really trust him anymore after he's tagged me a couple times. But, uh, yeah, he's gotten a little girth to him. You guys can see his body. You know, he's beautiful, super dwarf, reticulated python, phantom morph. Trying to get him on camera for you guys. He just keeps moving a lot. So uh, I don't want to stress this guy too much. More than I already have. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in the tub. And uh, start cleaning up his enclosure. Uh, this guy isn't too too bad once he's out. The one I'm actually worried about is Gamora. Because he's never really been handled like that. So, uh, you know, she hates it. She strikes all the time. Like this guy, you guys can see, he already chilled out. He's just trying to go on the light now. But uh, Gamora, on the other hand... She's going to keep striking and it's harder to take her out because she's actually wrapped up on her little PVC pipe over there. So it's going to be pretty hard to get her. Let's go ahead and put this guy in the, in the tub and uh, service his enclosure. All right, guys. So obviously I haven't been able to put him back into the tub, but I was able to manage and get him to calm down a little bit. So I just want to go ahead and show you guys this beautiful snake. Look at him, guys. This is Phantom. I haven't taken him out in so long. Uh, I went ahead and realized that I was being a little too rowdy for him. So I was obviously spooking him so much. So, uh, you know, I got him to calm down a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and try again, put him in, in, putting him in the tub. Just look at this guy's colors, guys. Oh, my God. Such a beautiful super dwarf, reticulated python. Amazing snake. Beautiful snake. One of my favorites here in the reptile room. No doubt about it. This guy's actually cutting circulation in my arm. That's how strong he is. He's a little snake, but he's freaking strong, guys. And, uh, yeah, we've been, uh, trying to be gentle with him so he doesn't get too spooked. But, uh, there he is, guys. Beautiful snake. All right, guys, so I finally managed to put him in the tub. You know, it took longer than I expected. Now I'm just going to go ahead, rescape his enclosure, clean out all the mess in here. I'll go ahead, take him out, show him to the camera a little bit longer, and then we'll go ahead and put it back in. Now, you guys see, it wasn't that bad. It was just, I was being a little too rowdy with him. So, obviously, he got spooked. He's not used to being handled like that. He was just, you know, a little scared. He was a little defensive. He was over here, you know, trying to get away from me. You guys saw, he didn't really strike at all. Uh, he was just mainly trying to get away from me. And the way I was acting was actually spooking him a lot. Uh, that's, that's completely my fault. His attitude was completely my fault. 
like I said, I was a little nervous handling him because he's actually striking me. It actually hurt pretty bad. So uh, that was again my fault, but he did okay guys. So like I said, let's go ahead and start cleaning this enclosure. We'll see how it goes. All right guys, so I went ahead and I redecorated his enclosure. You guys can see I put in some Repti chip in here. This is probably like around 60% peat moss and 40% Repti chip. So I went ahead and I, uh, I actually soaked the Repti chip, threw it in here so it could stay moist. I went ahead and I added a cool hide right here, a little cork bark. I got this clean water bowl right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add water right now in a bit. I also went ahead and I drilled a hole on the little manzanita wood so that I could use this as a perch for him to actually bass whenever he's, you know, digesting food and stuff. So this actually came out pretty good, you know, nice and sturdy. It won't come out. You guys see, I went ahead and I zip tied it on the side of the enclosure. I also went ahead and I moved the little mossy hide that was over there and put it on this side right here. Let me go ahead and break this piece of peat moss down. That's how his enclosure looks, guys. New and improved. Let's get ready to go ahead and take this guy out and put it back into his new enclosure. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I finished up redecorating the enclosure and stuff like that, adding some more uh, substrate. I went ahead and I redid the hole inside. So now he has a perch to actually lay on. Can't wait till he actually uses it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a lot of pictures. You guys don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. Prolific Reptiles, for some of you guys that don't follow me, I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is how it turned out. I'll give you guys a closer view once he's inside. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take him out of the, the little tote. And uh, hopefully I don't get bit, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, guys, so there he is. He's pissed off, as you guys can see. He doesn't want me messing with him at all. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put him into the enclosure. Hopefully he calms down. Look at him, guys. Pissed off, reticulated python right there. Uh, let's just go ahead and put him in, and hopefully he likes it. All right, guys, so this is just giving you guys a quick close-up on the enclosure. I went ahead and I cleaned the glass as well, so it was a little bit dirty. So now it looks crystal clean. Pretty sure this guy thinks the window's open now that it's so clear. But look at him, guys. He looks amazing in his new enclosure. Well, it's not a new enclosure, but you know, his remodeled enclosure. Uh, I can't wait till he actually uses this perch up here. It's gonna look amazing. I went ahead and I added a cool hide, this water bowl. I went ahead and I zip tied that plant to the back over here. There it is. Uh, that thing kept falling, kept giving me issues. So now I zip tied it in there. I went ahead and I zip tied this man's needle wood right here. So it's nice and sturdy for him. If he ever wants to lay up there and bass, there's a the heat spot right there. I have some UVB up there for him. Uh, I don't know if these guys actually benefit from it, but I went ahead and experimented and see how, how he does. And so far, he's been doing good. So, you know what I'm saying? There he is, guys. The easy part is done. I don't think she knows what's coming her way. I don't think I know what's coming my way. So uh, hopefully I don't get bit with this one. I'm going to go ahead and use both uh, snake hooks for this. I'm going to go ahead and try to hook her from the front and from the back. And just try to pick her up and uh i'm gonna go ahead and put her in that toad as well i'm gonna go ahead and add some water there is no water in there yet i'm gonna go ahead and add some warm water in there just so that she can start soaking uh like i said she does have some stuck shit on her yeah guys this should be fun so uh, let's go ahead and uh i guess move on with her what i really want to do with this enclosure is i don't know you guys see all these vines up here uh, i think she doesn't go up on her perches anymore because of the vines they're disturbing her i'm gonna go ahead and probably just add these up to the top and get rid of that big one back there and uh, hopefully she likes it so uh, let's get straight to it you know what i'm saying okay so she looks like she's asleep right now she usually as soon as she senses something there she is you gotta see how fast she is so this one should be a little tricky uh, let's see if i can just hook her from the loop small slow and steady as soon as i get her from all her loops you guys see she's still hooked on from the back so i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can get that get her on the hook Oh no, come over here, come over here. Now, these guys are tricky because they do just go ahead and go up. So I want to go ahead and maneuver her out here. Just going to keep it nice and slow. Try not to spook her a lot. And uh, hopefully we keep her in a good temperament. We got most of her body off the perch already. So that's good. Beautiful Aru green tree python, guys. Look at her, guys. She's amazing. Uh, can't believe we actually pulled it off, you know what I'm saying? She looks gorgeous guys look at her i bet she looks stunning in front of that ring light there she goes trying to find a way up like always but yeah guys now the difficult part is going to be putting her in the tub so uh taking her off the perch wasn't as hard as i thought it was going to be it's usually always freaking hard but i never really had a second hook second hook made it made it way more easier for me to pull this off so uh yeah let's go ahead and see if she wants to go in the tub and uh and start working on her enclosure all right guys we were able to get her into the tub Luckily, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, guys. I just went ahead and put her in with the hook. She fell right off. So she's in the tub now. She's getting soaked, finally. 
that's what i've been trying to do for a while now so i'm just gonna go ahead like i said fix up these vines right here you guys see all those vines right here on these perches what i'm gonna go ahead and do is try to remove them and i'm just gonna try and zip tie them up here on the actual mesh hopefully get these two perches cleared up so that she could go ahead and start using them so uh let's go ahead and start doing that all right guys so i went ahead and i soaked her for a while now i'm gonna go ahead and take her out i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can actually handle her i've never handled her freehand hopefully she doesn't bite me because i don't want to get bit by a snake like her but uh, she is a green tree python green tree pythons do have pretty long teeth uh they are boreal animals so whenever they you know gain prey and stuff they actually bite and hang on they gotta have long teeth so that they can hold on to that prey because if it gets away then that's it you know what i'm saying they miss out on the meal so let's go ahead and take her out of her shed as you guys can see i didn't really do much i just went ahead and cleaned up this kind of a this little perch right here these perches i just went ahead and cleared them up and got rid of all the vines that were there i think that's why she wasn't getting on them because they were all you know disrupted by the vines she didn't really have space for her to chill on so i went ahead and i took everything off went ahead and gave the enclosure a good mist hopefully hopefully she lets me handle her i'm not too sure but let's try to make some progress let's go ahead and take her out so i have her right here you know she's not doing too bad doing the same thing as a uh, as phantom over here so i'm trying to keep her you know facing the other way there she is guys beautiful green tree python i've never really free handled her i'm finally being able to free handle her now i can't even believe this guys when i got her the guy told me don't free handle her at all she will bite you and you don't want to get bit by this snake which is true you don't want to get bit by this snake but i feel like you guys just gotta respect the animal respect the space and you know show the animal that you're not here to harm it and actually try to get hands on with this animal just keep your body calm keep yourself calm and the snake should act calm as well uh, but yeah guys you know this is a, actually a, a very fun time for me i never really saw myself handling my green tree python look at her guys look at the strength of her body yeah guys she's a beautiful snake and uh let's go ahead and put her back into her enclosure hopefully she likes her new home and as she's going in, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pull off some of the, the snake, the stuck shit that she has on. So let's see if we can do that. There she goes, guys. All right, guys. So we finally went ahead. We went ahead and we cleaned up Phantom's enclosure. We freehandled him. You guys see he did amazing. We finally, for the first time, freehandled my green tree python. She is the most aggressive snake that I have here in my room. You guys saw she did not show any signs of aggression. She did not show any signs of defense. The key with these animals, guys, is you, got, you guys just got to keep calm. Make sure you respect the animal. Make sure you respect the space. Whenever you're handling, do not hold on to the animal. You know, you will be restricting them and they will feel, you know, threatened. And they will actually try to bite you. So, like you guys saw, I was just letting her flow through my hands. Uh, it was very neat. Uh, it was a very good experience for me trying to handle my green tree python. It's not going to be the last time. I'm telling you guys right now, it won't be the last time I actually attempt to free handle her. I'm going to go see if I could work with her a little bit more. And yeah, guys, I just want to give you guys a quick view. Uh, this is her enclosure now. You guys see it's a lot more bare than it was. So now she has, you know, those two perches available. Uh, they weren't really available to her because they were all covered by the little fake mines and stuff. Uh, but there she is getting comfortable. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please consider subscribing. We're almost at 700 subscribers. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the year ends. Uh, I know you guys can do it. Please help me out. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like like this video. Help me get this video out to more people that want to see me handle, you know, my big snakes. Pause. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I be on IG at the best tropics, and she on my skinny jeans, I'm a hot topic. And she asks my son, I say stop it. I'ma keep going up like a used to rocket. Life in the fast lane. No